What's up everybody, I go by Rifle and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 different armor console mods that I enjoyed during week 1. So, hopefully you guys end up enjoying as well. And if you do, uh, consider leaving a like, it's greatly appreciated and it helps out a lot. But anyways, enough about that jibber jabber, let's jump into this. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be showing you where the modded Chinese stealth armor is at. It'll be located over here at Acadia. Of course, you are going to need the Far Harbor DLC for this modded armor, but yeah. Once you're out of Acadia, just head on inside, and well, once you're inside, you're going to have to make your way down into the basement. Just head down these flight of stairs, go past this area, and head over here toward this flight of stairs. Once you're at the bottom here, you just want to head down into this corridor right here, and then bust the left, and there will be a metal box back here at the back of this corridor. You have to unlock it. It'll be in an advanced lock. Nothing too difficult. And daggone, I already failed. What the heck's the matter with me? As soon as I say nothing too difficult, I yes. fail. But yeah, as you can see, the Chinese stealth armor with the Chinese stealth armor helmet. Now then, I guess I'll show you the stats real quick on this Chinese stealth armor. What I like about this armor is it's not too overpowered. It seems like a piece of armor you'd actually find in regular gameplay. As you can see here though, it has 19 regular damage resistance, 10 energy damage resistance, and 10 radiation damage resistance. And it gives 2 to perception, weight is at 2, and the value is at 300. As for the Chinese stealth armor suit though, here let me go ahead and equip the helmet and the armor suit. But yeah, let me show you guys up close and personal of what the armor suit's capable of. As you can see, it has 20 regular damage resistance. 5 energy damage resistance and 5 radiation damage resistance. The weight is at 5 and the value is at 500. And what I actually enjoy about this armor piece, once again, it feels like this is something you'd actually find in regular gameplay. It's not something that'll pretty much break the game. So yeah, if you're looking for a type of modded armor that you can still play the game regularly without the game feeling super easy and like it's broken with the mod you have on, this is definitely a choice for you. So let's go outside real quick and I'll preview what is pretty special about this armor. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. It's pretty much a retexture of the wetsuit. I mean, yeah, that's what it is. It's a retexture of the wetsuit in Far Harbor. And what's cool about this is if you crouch, you actually go into a chameleon mode where you'll go invisible. But if you go too fast while crouched, uh, you'll turn uninvisible. But if you take it slow and steady, you'll actually stay invisible. It's pretty freaking sweet. I love how um, they simplified this armor to make it, you know, once again, not too overpowered. Let's see if I can get a stealth kill with this console mod armor on before I show you guys the next one. There it's looking pretty stealthy. Oh, bitch. shit. I've been compromised. And did she just call me a little bitch? No wonder I was spot. I had my freaking pit boy light on. Dang it. But yeah. I guess those are wrapping up this Chinese stealth armor. As you can see, this armor is not game breaking. So once again, if you're looking for an armor mod that doesn't pretty much break your game and make everything super easy, then this is definitely a good choice for you. Alrighty, so for this next mod armor, I have you guys the V for Vendetta clothing. And this one, you'll have to actually go to a location and take out V for Vendetta himself. I mean, he isn't hostile or anything, but in order to get this outfit, you're going to have to kill him. So yeah. As you can see, it's right here located next to Bunker Hill and the USS Constitution and whatnot. And bam! There he is, everybody. An exact replica of V for Vendetta. Freaking awesome. He doesn't have that much of dialogue as you guys can hear. Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? But yeah, still, nonetheless, a freaking awesome console mod. I can't believe they added this in. So yeah. In order to get the outfit, I don't think you can steal from him. You might be able to. I haven't tried. Oh, you can. Oh, no, you can't. He's going to attack. Let's do this, V. What's going on? Huh? You trying to fight? You trying to fight? Whoa. Wait. Where are you going? Why are you running away? That's not the V I know. Where are you going? Come back here. Dang, you're fast. Get back here. Ah, doing some kind of sneakeroo on me, huh? He's pretty tough. What the heck? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm fighting V for Vendetta on Fallout 4. I never would have thought I'd see the day. Oh gosh. Take my black attack. Oh, he just I had to block there. Sorry, V. I love you, man. I love you. I had to do it. You were just fighting back. But yeah, there you guys have it. 
the V's mask, the V's hat, the V's clothing, and the Chinese officer sword. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Did that just say I'm overburdened? Wow. I have to say, this is aesthetically looking one of my favorite armor console mods so far. I mean, you know, console mods has only been out a little over a week, so. Still, pretty awesome day. I've already added this in. I am V for Vendetta, except my character's a chick. Freaking awesome, though. Love the way this looks. Okay, so here's V's clothing. As you can see, nothing too overpowered, which I like. Uh, the damage resistance is at 15, and energy resistance is at 14. It adds 2 to charisma, the weight's at 3, and the value is at 10. Uh, for the mask... Whoa. <laughs> Looks like a gas mask. I guess they just retextured it. Yeah, that's what they did. Anywho, uh, damage resistance is at 14. Uh, radiation resistance is at 8. Weight's at 3, and the value's at 10. And for the hat, huh, okay, <laughs> another gas mask if you inspect it. But anywho, damage resistance is at 9, energy resistance is at 5, weight's at 3, and the value is at 10. It could be different for you guys, I don't know if those stats are randomized or not, but still, nonetheless, a pretty freaking awesome console mod. Okay, so up next I have you guys Lagri Skull Helmets and Armor. Now, these will be extremely overpowered, and they'll be located over here in this mess at Park Street Station. Right here. Okay, so once we're at Park Street Station, you just want to head down in it. And also keep in mind, you will need the uh, DLC Automatron for these to actually work. But anywho, as you can see, Lagri's Armory. It's located at the bottom of this escalator. We have the Helmet of Power, Heavy Chest of Agony, Helmet of Cataclysm, Helmet of Chaos, Helmet of Destruction, Helmet of Disease, Helmet of Torment, Helmet of Sin, and the Helmet of Demolition. So yeah, quite a bit of armor pieces, as you guys saw. Now let's go check what these bad boys look like. Okay, so first things first, let's put on the Heavy Chest of Agony. As you can see, the damage resistance is at 145 with a crazy amount of energy resistance. Weight at 23.1 and the value at 190. Just insane. You're basically like a walking tank with this thing on alone. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so for the helmets it comes with, as you guys can see, Helmet of Sin, 56 damage resistance, 300 energy resistance, 0 radiation resistance, weight at 1, and the value at 9,999. As you guys can see, here's what it looks like. You can't really see it here. Here, let's go over in the sunlight so you all can see it better. As you can see, that is what it looks like. Pretty freaky looking. Okay, so for these next helmets, I'm not going to explain all the stats that it comes with. You guys can see what it comes with clearly. But I will show you real quick on what each of them look like. So anyways, this is what the Helmet of Power looks like. This is what the Helmet of Chaos looks like. Up next is the Helmet of Destruction. As you guys can see the stats, and here's what it looks like. Pretty crazy looking. Looks like some kind of contraption off Saul. Up next we got the uh, Helmet of Cataclysm. And this one looks like a Minotaur. I believe that's a Minotaur Skull. Up next is the Helmet of Torment, which is my favorite looking helmet out of all these selections. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. But anyway, lastly up on these armor pieces, I got you guys the Helmet of Disease. And here's what it looks like. But yeah, that's about wrapping up all Lagri Skull Helmets and Armor. This next one, a lot of you guys should enjoy. It's actually Deadpool's outfit. It's pretty simple to make, too. You just gotta head over to a chemistry station, head to the utility selection, and get the requirements that it needs, and then craft it. It's literally that simple to obtain. So yeah, here's the stats. As you guys can see, definitely pretty weak. Not overpowered whatsoever. And as for what it looks like, well, here it is. I think the mod creator did a real nice job on this Deadpool outfit. As you guys can see, you can wear it as a female or male, too. Because you know, my character on here is a female, and as you can see, I can wear the outfit. And we all know Deadpool is originally a guy and not a chick. So, this outfit can be worn on both sexes. Overall, it's like you're playing as Deadpool in Fallout 4. It looks very similar to him. And this outfit is worn as an Under Armour, so you can wear like the Heavy Chest of Agony that I showed you previously over it. Alrighty, lastly up on this Armor Console Mod Showcase compilation, I have you guys a Punisher outfit. You can craft these at a chemistry station under Utility, or you can just simply go into the Dugout Inn at Diamond City, which I'm sure all of you guys know where Diamond City is at. It's located right here. I'm just going to show it on the map just because. Why not? Anywho, go on into Dugout Inn, and once inside, 
Get out of the way, Valentine. You just want to head over here to this Punisher box, as you guys can see. Heavy Punisher torso, sturdy Punisher torso, Punisher torso, heavy Punisher left arm, heavy Punisher right arm, sturdy Punisher left arm, sturdy Punisher right arm, Punisher left arm, blah, 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 blah. Just a whole bunch of Punisher goodies. So, let's go check out what these bad boys look like on. Right now, I'm overburdened. I'm going to have to drop some things. Daggone it. Alright, so I'm not going to sit here and just explain every single stat detail on all these pieces of armor. But, I am going to show you guys what they look like real quick. First off, we want to put on the Punisher Under Armor just because, well, that goes underneath our armor. The gloves and the helmets. Here is what the Punisher right leg, left leg, right arm, and left arm. As you guys saw, nothing too overpowered whatsoever. And we want to have the bandana on with the torso. Yep. Okay. Got everything on. Here is what the armor set will look like. You can have a little bit of upgraded versions, as you guys saw, like heavy style and whatnot. But yeah, here's pretty much what it will look like. Pretty awesome. Has the Punisher skull detail and all that. As for what the uh, heavy Punisher arm looks like, this is what it looks like. If I put it on the right, it'll look pretty much the same thing. Here, I'll just put it on for you guys so you guys can see. Put on the right leg too. Where's my left leg? Huh. Oh well. But yeah, there's what the heavy style looks like. Here's what the sturdy variant Punisher uh, armor looks like. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Once again, be sure to do your thing by leaving a like or a dislike, whatever you prefer. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, well, then leave a dislike or do nothing. This has been a video by Rival, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.